injection into this Quran, it is not from Allah. I've just shown you two contradictions in your Quran. Anybody got an answer for that? No? Radio silence? No? So we're going to continue. So the Quran clearly states... Thank you, bro. <laughs> you haven't lost any. That's a good thing. Um, how many days did it take to create the heavens and the earth? Are you going to answer the question, my friend? So your Quran clearly states that the earth was created first and the heavens created first. Which one? Can you show me? So this is what it says. You can read it. I don't, I don't care about your words, man. I care what the Quran says. This is, this is the word of Allah. Let's go to the word of Allah. This is what it says. Surah 2 verse 29. It is he who have created for you all things that are on the earth. Then he turned into heaven and made him to some ferments. What did he create first? He created the heavens first. Surah 79 says, Are you the hardest great or is the heaven that he built? He raised the height thereof and ordered it, and he has made dark the night thereof. And he brought forth the morning thereof, and after that he spread and flattened the earth. So which one's created first, the heavens or the earth? Radio silence. Exactly. You had a lot to say earlier on. Maybe you should keep shutting your mouth. How about that? Thank you. Thank you. That has nothing to do with the topic. Remember to stay on topic. Remember to stay on topic. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm glad you don't find me attractive, bro. I mean, I'm sorry I'm not sexually attracted to you. Maybe next year. Maybe, maybe I need to lose a bit of weight. Maybe not. Okay, well, thank you. Anyway, the Quran says, and this is a scientific miracle, a scientific miracle, remember that? Yeah? The Quran says the sun sets in a muddy pool. Now, this is a scientific miracle. That loud and giant and hot gas giant is setting in a muddy pool, according to the Quran. This is what it says. Till when he, the traveller, Zulkarnain, reached the setting place of the sun, he found it going down into a, a muddy spring. This is Surah 18, verse 86. This, in another passage, it says, Till when he reached the rising place of the sun, he found it rising on a people for whom he had appointed no shelter from it. So it rose from a muddy pool and it descended into a muddy pool. Do you Muslims believe that the sun is in a literal place on earth? You don't know? You, you don't know basic biology? Did you go to school? Did you go to school? Any of you? Do you know where the sun is situated? Where's the sun situated right now? Where? No, no, where's it situated? What, what area is it situated? The solar system. The solar system. So why does your God claim that the sun was setting in a muddy pool? That is in a hypothetical scenario. Where does it say it's hypothetical? Remember, the Quran says it's clear. The Quran in chapter 11, verse 1 says it is a clear book. So you can show me where the book says clearly that it's a hypothetical situation. What's your point? The point is, your Allah doesn't know science. He doesn't know anything about his own creation because he claims that the sun sets in a muddy pool. Proved what? Does the sun set in mud? No, no, no. That's not my point. No. So then your God's a liar. Do you believe your God's a liar, my friend? So your God's telling the truth when he says the sun sets in a muddy pool? Inshallah, you are happy, Daya. That's what I pray, I pray for you. I, don't, I mean, that's Let's not even an answer. Again. Read the first verse. I'll read the first verse again. It's not even an argument. Everybody. Till when he, you the traveller, Sul Karnain, reached the setting place of the sun, he found it going down into a muddy spring. Does your God think that the sun sets in a muddy spring, Muslims? You've had this answer to you so many times. Where's the answer? I haven't heard the answer. I've not heard the answer. Has anybody got the answer? I think Do you so have the answer, many people, man? I'm sure hundreds of people would have given Where the answer. Where is the answer? Where is the answer? Here again and I still don't have the answer. I do not have the answer, my friend. What does the Quran say about errors? The first verse about errors. Okay, Surah 4 verse 89 clearly states that if there are many contradictions in this Quran, it is not from Allah. 482. My apologies. 482. So if it says that in the Quran, why do I find so many contradictions in your Quran? Once again, I'm going to read out a few more. Let's get them up, man. This is interesting. Um, so for those who, who disbelieve what I'm saying, who believe I'm lying about the sun setting in the muddy pool, your own prophet said the sun sets in water. This is what it says. Muddy water, yes. Sayyid Bukhari, right? The Prophet asked me at the sunset, do you know where the sun goes at the time of the sunset? I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. He said it goes, i.e. it travels till it prostrates itself. This is one of them, by the way. 
itself underneath the throne and takes the permission to rise again. The throne of who? Are we talking about the throne of Allah? Does Allah have a literal throne, Muslims? Is it situated in space where the sun is? Can any Muslim answer that question? No?